In this video, we'll explore how to navigate Climate Web doorways. First, you can change the default font size on your screen by clicking anywhere in the Plex, choosing Preferences, choosing Global Settings, and changing the size. I'll change it to large for right now. Press OK. One implication of this is that suddenly not everything is fitting on the screen, and you'll see this horizontal slide bar, which you can slide back and forth. I'm going to get rid of that by going back to the original sized text medium. But you can do whatever makes sense for you. Now, one of the things you can also do on the screen is increase or decrease the size of this notes field. And it's relevant because videos show up in it, in which case you want to pull it up. Normally, you want to keep it down more. You can close it with the little arrow there. You can open it back up with the up arrow. And I'm just going to leave it about there for right now because there is useful information down here. And this is where PDFs are, etc. To build these doorways, we've tagged groups of climate web thoughts. The name of the tag is what you see at the center of your screen, but it's not a real thought like everything else on the screen. If I click on any of the thoughts in the doorway, for example, 2017 Lord, you'll see that the tag itself vanishes from the screen. So how do you get back to the original doorway view once you've taken a look at, at whatever you happen to have clicked on? It's very easy. First, the tag may still be visible as part of the breadcrumb trail at the bottom of your screen. And you can see that here. If you click on it at the bottom of your screen, you'll get back to the original doorway view. There are a couple of other ways. If you're somewhere else, you can use your browser's backspace key. And if you just left it, that will be where it comes right back to. Or if you're someplace else, just as another example, and you type in the search field at the bottom left, you type in the name of the doorway, and it will pop up for you, and you can click on it. And that'll take you back to the doorway. And don't press the search button, by the way, if you do, if you use the search field. You'll notice that quite a few of the thoughts in this doorway have thumbnail images to their far left here, here, and here. We use these thumbnails a lot. They expand. We use them a lot to convey information, to show report covers, various things. They in, when you do this over the web, it'll take a couple of seconds for them to fully open up and become totally readable. Take a look at this first thumbnail. Uh, it's the same for all doorways. It introduces doorways. The third thumbnail down in framing this doorway, it frames this particular doorway that you happen to be in, whichever doorway you happen to be in. Um, and so that's where you can sort of start your doorway specific uh, work. By the way, clicking on thumbnails doesn't expand them. You have to hover over thumbnails. Now, another thing here is you can see these little filled in green circles. And what that means is that there is more information under, there are more thoughts under that particular thought in terms of thoughts with the little green circles um, have more thoughts under them that you can explore. You'll notice that these brown headings with the equal signs don't have little green circles and they don't have anything under them. The, these different headings are here purely to help organize uh, the doorway and these headings are consistent across most uh, doorways. So they're only here to help uh, organize and make the doorway easier to use. Clicking on them won't take you any place uh, special. Now you can see that some of the doorway thoughts are color coded. Uh, quite a few of them in this case because uh, we picked them for this sample doorway are color coded. Every color means something and tells you what you're likely to find associated with that thought if you click on it. You're unlikely to see all of these colors as part of every doorway or even most doorways, but it's worth a quick review of what they mean. So for example, and I'll just work through this, the A thoughts are argument thoughts, and they pull together information relating to a particular argument. And then I'm going to go back to the, the doorway 
view. Q thoughts are question and answer thoughts. And if you click on that, it'll open up a series of questions. And under, under the questions are a series of answers, this relating to the social cost of carbon. These bright yellow thoughts indicate deep dives. And if you click on that, you'll see the structure of individual deep dives that is consistent across all the deep dives in the climate web. There are about 75 of them. S indicates sources, reports, uh, videos, or primarily reports, books, documents of various kinds. Uh, and these are headings. And, and so if you click on them, you'll go to a collection of sources in this case. The same goes for N for news stories. Click on that and you'll go to a collection of news stories for whatever the topic happens to be all chronologically ordered. Pink thoughts are multimedia thoughts. So G stands for graphics, V stands for behavior change, or V stands for videos. If I click on this, for example, you go, you'll go to our collection of behavior change videos in the climate web. And so everything pink is uh, info is Multimedia. I stands for infographics, for example. C stands for cartoons. T stands for network thoughts. And this is basically pointing you to website uh, resources, things that aren't specifically dated, but that, um, uh, that relate to resources you can find on the web. And you can find the URLs for those here. I colon thoughts, light yellow, stand for index entries. And these are very important in terms of finding your way around the climate web. And click on that, and you'll see that, that uh, the, the index goes up, the index goes down. We have a whole video on how to use this index most effectively. But it's through the index that you can find your way to all kinds of materials relating to the particular topic that the index is referring to. These bright green thoughts are refer you to uh, climate chess, and uh, which is uh, uh, an interesting aspect of the climate web. I'm not going to go into right now. Now, when you see year and month thoughts such as this, this is it means that it's a news story, and uh, you can click on it. And uh, the, we have a screenshot of the news story. The URL of the news story is at the bottom of the screen. You can click on it there and go to, uh, go to that news story if that's what you want to do. A thought that is simply showing a year, not a, a slash month, might be a book, as in the case of Naomi Oreskes' book, where you can see sort of specific information that we've pulled out of the book and integrated into the climate web, or it might be a specific uh, video. Uh, could be various things. There may be a PDF at the bottom of the screen or a URL at the bottom of the screen. And what you can see is you can see there's a video here, but you need to pull up on the gray bar. And then you can literally watch the video right here on your screen. Or if you want, you can jump to the YouTube video if you're looking for a larger version of the video. You may see links that have uh, no color and no date at all, for example, under ideas and graphics. And these are specific graphics, specific ideas that, that we've extracted from various places. And so, for example, if you click on this thought, uh, you'll see that it links back to its original source. So you can always see exactly where something came from, but it allows us to link information around uh, the climate web in a very useful way. This may sound like a lot to take in, but it's actually pretty simple and involves a very short learning curve for such a powerful software. These navigation tips should help you explore any doorway that you encounter. 
In closing, I'll note there are several Climate Web resources that should always be available to you at the top of your screen. You can hover over the thumbnails for help, for example, for help tips or for search in terms of search uh, tips. You can click on the index thought to go to the index. You can click on the home thought to go to the front door of the Climate Web. If you have navigation questions that we should be addressing in this video, please let us know. Thanks.